away. So, so um, what's your background with taquerias? Yeah, so I, I grew up in the hood of taquerias, you know, known as San Diego, right there up against uh, Mexico and Tijuana on the other side of the border. So tried a bunch of different taquerias, they're really authentic, and uh, I got a good sense for what's good versus what's crap. And we're trying to find what's good out here in the Central Valley. What's your experience been so far with taquerias in this area? Yeah, so what i found is they're average, mediocre at best, you know, lots of extra fillings, just not very good flavors and spices, yeah. so yeah. it's all right, you know, but I think there's some hidden gems out here that we got to find. I think that's the secret. we got to dig and find where the good stuff is at, because the basic ones you see around just aren't cutting it, and, uh, you know, you, you want to have consistency, you come in, you can expect to get the same food each time, it should be perfectly cooked, nice pieces of meat, not a bunch of chunky fat, Filling, crap filling in there. Friggin' three fourths rice. Yeah, you know, rice is a really And then beans authentic. and then a little bit of meat. Yeah. Right. Cameron Lane. This is the exit right here off of I 5. Stockton, California. Hammer Lane. Named after MCM. <laughs> Can't touch this. Yeah. We're gonna try out uh, Alberto's and see if it stacks up to the Southern California San Diego ones. This is a place that messed us up. Adalberto's is being, it's right here, and it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's like gutted. It. Yeah. Uh, something's up there, like, there must have been a fire or something, so, which is how we ended up fighting this, uh, the Alberto's places. I wasn't sure they had one around here. It was so good, people riding. Yeah. Looks like we're here, but there's, like, no signs. Kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird, man. But this is what we like, you know, nice and shady. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta. It's gotta be like a hole in the wall place. You probably don't want to come here at night. <laughs> this ain't it. That's a, that's a Vietnamese place. Oh, Vietnamese and Chinese. <laughs> what the hell? All right, very disappointed because there's nothing around here. Yeah, man, we're getting screwed on this. I'm getting hungry, man. I need some. I need some straight up carne asada. I said let's go to the other place. What do you yeah. Think? Yeah, this place is dead anyway. Do a little litmus test to, to see, check out the consistency. I mean, you're used to Alberto's in, in San Diego, which that would be the benchmark, right? Because that's where they're from. Yep. Um, what's what's your usual, like, what do you order? Usually I like to get myself a carne asada burrito, sour cream on the inside, and then three roll tacos with some guacamole and cheese on the top. Nice. Usually a good fit. Nice. Now, if I'm feeling extra hungry, I might double up and go two carne asada burritos. But oh. being I'm not in my 20s anymore, I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna just stick with one. This oh, time. Dude, it's right there, dude, man. We found it, man. It's awesome. We found it. Alberto's right there. And it looks yellow and red, just like the ones in SD, right? This is looking like it. it. Looks just like San Diego. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Yeah. All right. It's all. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna get full. You want to be comfortable. You don't want to bring any nice. Tight clothes here, you know. Something loose, feel loose, yeah. fill it out. Oh, and you brought chargers, chargers here. here. That, yeah. I got shorts with a belt, so I can loosen it up, let everything hang out. You know? Nice. I, I, I for went the belt. Is for went even a word? <laughs> we're gone. I forgot. I skipped the belt. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, forget this. I'm, I'm just going. You know, it's not gonna fall. Let's put it that way. Let's do this. All right. That's a good price point, right? Right now, price point, yeah. yeah. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Okay. What do you think so far? First impression? First impression looks just like San Diego. Feeling it, it's got the same colors, same, same layout. Same so I'm like, I'm up. The, the little soft, the standard sauce, right? Standard sauce, man. It's like crack cocaine, man. You gotta have this stuff. It's delicious. But initial impression of seeing this, this is a little chintzy, but it doesn't look the same. It looks like uh, looks like some Costco to taquitos. So oh, man. I'm a little, a little concerned on that. So we're gonna start. We're gonna take a bite of these uh, taquitos first. So let's see what we got. Hmm. 
was not what I expected, but not too bad. This plate was what, three bucks? Three bucks. Yeah, three tequilas, wow. Three tequilas, yeah. A little expensive for what you get. I don't know if I would go with this. Yeah, the consistency's kind of runny. Mm, not kind of what I expect. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling a little less optimistic now. <laughs> but the main thing is we'll get to the bad boy right here. This is just a filler. This just lays down a foundation. You want to fill up on this. Right. All right. Okay, first impressions on the taco. Presentation by itself is it's nice, it's not sloppy. However, there's no lime. Usually you have a little lime and, and they have a, a radish. Uh, they don't have that now. Oh, we got the crack cocaine, a little salsa. Double tortilla to prevent root juices from uh, falling. Here we go. That's three dollar plate. What's the impression? Flavor's nice. Mm. Yeah, a lot of guacamole in there. Which is okay. I'm used to it on the side. Um, you know, the tomato says a little and a little bit sloppy. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Um, the meat tastes good. It's a little tasty. It's moist. Yeah. Good, for, good carnita. It's okay. I wouldn't pay three bucks for this again, though. This is the real right. test. All right, here we go. So it feels a little heavy. Not too bad. So that's what I'm looking at the burrito. Some nice and good to it. You know, nice heavy weight to it. All right, opening it up. Looks good. Looks solid. Nothing ripped. Nothing torn. Yeah, looks good. All right, so let's, let's get in here and get a bite of this final stuff. Oh, it's squirting. That was cool. That's yeah. a plus. That's a bonus. Holy man. Bonus hit the money shot right at the beginning. Yeah, that was good. So, any extra failure or is it straight up meat? No, just straight up guacamole with the uh, onions, tomatoes, and the meat. None of that beans and rice and shit. It's nice. just a straight up burrito. Nice and, nice and juicy, man. As you saw, it kind of exploded on me. Yeah. Got to watch out for the money shots sometimes, but that's good. Yeah. Let's, let's get a little bit of the crack cocaine on here. Get some babies yelling in the background. We're good. Mm. That's good. Dude. That's good. That's right. good. So we know we can at least stick to the, the burritos. Yeah, you know you can stick to the burritos in this place, definitely. You can't go wrong with that with this place. Yeah. They have a good, consistent formula in San Diego. Transfer it up here to the bay. Five dollar price point for a burrito, can't go wrong. Yeah. Let me shot. Drop my load all over the table. And burrito Nice way. Tortillas, lightly toasted. It's very good. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it just so we can look, take a look inside. Oh, you can see You can see the guac using out. This has oh, it's a lot of guac. Carne asada, guac, pico de gallo, and a little salsa. So here we go. First taste. Good call and cut. The taste is really good on the meat. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, I think for the price point, this is what you're looking for in a burrito. No BS filler. I'm not a big fan of like rice and beans in a burrito. Just because if you're gonna do that, you might as well just get a plate with the meat on the side, you know? Um, I like just the meat and essentials, a little salsa, 
because um, that way you don't get overly full too. So I would give it a definite solid thumbs up on the burrito. It's a lot better than the taco. Oh, see, you notice the dripping? What good. we got here? That's a good sign of a good burrito, man. It's pouring shit out like that. Yeah. Yeah. We call that the root juice phenomenon. When the root juices fall out of something, it makes it nice and moist and juicy. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm. Dripping. Dripping. It's delicious. Just delicious. So right now we're just relaxing after we ate. Um, I'm definitely stuffed. Uh, I could be a pig and go for something else, but it's, I'm gonna regret it later. So. <laughs> I got two extra for the road, so. I got four. Uh, <laughs> got an order at my house already, so. Oh, yeah. Channel down again in a few hours. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. It never tastes the same a, a couple hours later, but it still tastes good. But it's nothing like eating it fresh. That's the best experience. That's for sure. So we're leaving satisfied. The burritos were worth it. What do you think, CB? Yeah, I think that was good, man. I'm feeling good. I'm happy, man. It's been a good choice on this first uh, adventure today. One out of ten? I'm gonna give this one a. I'm gonna. I wanna go too too loud. I'm gonna give him a 8.5. Yeah. You know, maybe a nine. Yeah. I'm definitely going solid eight. Based on the burritos alone, nine. Um, the tacos were okay, but not not up to standard. Um, so that kind of dropped the rating down, but still very solid. Yeah. I'd solid agree. effort. Good, good job on the burrito. Yeah. This is a good burrito joint, just like it was in San Diego. Yeah. Solid burritos. Yeah. It never for, fails. Price point for the burritos: four sixty-eight for one. You're not going to beat that anywhere else. I mean, burritos go for six fifty and up anywhere else. You don't want all that filler. I mean, you can ask for it if you want un, um, if you want rice or beans, but really, it's not worth it. You want to taste the meat, the the avocado and the pico de gallo, and and, and you're set. So I saw a sign there. They have menudo. Um, I know you're white and all. Do you ever taste menudo? Yeah, it's not bro. Nope, <laughs> not gonna do it. No. <laughs> I, I'm gonna come back. Uh, it said. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have menudo, so I'm gonna give it a shot one of these days. Uh, we'll, we'll look for something else for, for CB, because yeah. he, he doesn't play that. Hey, you gotta stay a little white sometimes. Huh? <laughs> Total sprawl mode, where we're just like giggling like schoolgirls. You know, whatever happens, yeah, it's, it's like the to toxins or whatever, what, what, are they, what do they call it? Dude? It's, I don't know. it's like the pheromones or whatever the hell from the food that gets sent to you, and you just feel like sprawling and taking a nap. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's that's what it is, man. It just yeah. it feels good, feel happy. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling happy.